just using my black soot and going around all of the edges. So you can tell I kind of keep forgetting I'm recording and I forgot to talk. So if I miss something as I'm going and you'd like to know, just leave a comment at the bottom and I'll make sure I get back to you. I'm just going to clean this up really quick. I've got that. Now I'm going to take this piece and I'm just going to take my grab knife, or well, my craft knife, and I'm just going to kind of cut a hole in it. put my lid back on because I have cut myself on numerous occasions with my coffee. Sort of matches. Okay, I'm going to set these two pieces on the side and I'm going to grab this brick stencil. Um, this is a handmade one actually. A friend of mine made the file and cut it for me on um, Cricut. So I'm going to use that. I've got a little bit of hard molding paste here. Pull out a little piece of my non-stick craft sheet. And what I'm going to do is find a palette knife. So I've got like 45, so there has to be one here. There we go. And take some of the molding paste. Be lots. Should I close? 
fills up my molding paste. Like I said, it's it's golden hard molding paste is what I prefer to use. You can use light molding paste, modeling paste from Liquitex, whatever you prefer and have on hand. That's just what I like. And I'm going to use some of my Neo Opaque and Black. That's probably enough. And I'm just going to mix these together. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start up at the top. So if my head and stuff gets in the way here, guys, I'm just kind of... Oops. And I'm just going to add some of the bricks in here. And I'm not going to be too picky about it being all filled because I want it to look a little broken and everything else. I don't want it to be too perfect. Okay. scrape across it. And there we go. Okay. And then as I come lower down, I'm going to put fewer and fewer of them in. So, that's just going to get a little bit lighter and not quite as many. Okay. And then when I go off like that, I'm just going to wipe it up so that I don't end up with anything stuck to it. This is why I have this craft paper all over my desk. And I'm just going to wipe this off because it's pretty gummy on the back. And then up one more time. I think I'm just going to keep it to that one side. I was going to run it down the other side, but I don't think so. I think I'm going to put some on here instead. So that's the top. And I'm just going to have to hold it down fairly flat because I've already crumpled this page. I'm just going to kind of... It's going to be a lot messier on here, and I don't think I like it. So I'm just going to take this, and I'm just going to wipe it off. Like this, all the way down, which will continue it on, and just kind of fade it out. So you can make anything work, right? I didn't like it. It slipped on me. It didn't stay flat. So I'm going to do that, which will also help me flatten out the page. And then if I hit it with my heat gun and dry it really quick. seconds here because I'm just going to clean this off a little bit. There. Then I'm going to try this again. So I'm going to do the same thing I was doing last time. Except I'm just going to be a little bit more careful. So we're on and we're spread. It only gets one chance because the paper is so uneven. I can only give it one shot. 
and then it moves. Oops, see, that's what I don't want to do. That's okay. And still deal with it. And I'm just going to put a couple more here, right here down at the bottom. The last little bit of molding paste I've got. That's it. Okay. Just let me wet my knife off. And I'm okay with that. Not exactly what I had in mind from the start, but it will work since I put it on there. It'll work. One piece of this. And That's wiping it off really quick so I don't have to do it later. Probably not something you guys want to watch, but sorry. So that's where we are right now. And I'm going to stop here and I'm going to upload this and then I'll be back with part two after this dries. Thanks for watching so far. See